Hello, my dear. I'm Dr. Alam Musbah, professor of obstetrics and gynecology faculty of Medicine Mansoura University. Today, I'm going to speak about breast examination. So, what are the objectives? Indication for breast examination. What about the guidelines as regard breast cancer screening using clinical breast examination? The best time to do clinical breast examination. inspection of the breast, palpation of the breast, and lastly, documentation. Okay, what about the indication? The indication that could be a patient coming complaining of breast pain, or mass, or skinny changes, or nipple discharge, or gross changes in size and shape, or any other feature that cause concern to the patient warrant clinical breast examination. What else? Clinical breast examination may be a part of breast cancer screening. Okay, so what about recommendation of different organization? Really, there is controversy about using breast examination as a screening method. So let us see what what is said by different organizations. As regard the American College of Obstetrician and Gynecologist, clinical breast examination may be offered every one to three years. Clinical breast examination may be offered every one to three years for women aged 25 up to 39 years. Then annually for women 40 years and all okay this is the opinion of american college of obstetrician what about united states preventive service task force there is insufficient evidence to recommend for or against okay so the, still their opinion about about clinical breast examination that there is insufficient evidence to recommend the for or against okay do or not to do what about american cancer society they doesn't recommend the clinical breast examination as a screening method okay what about national comprehensive cancer network network they recommend clinical breast examination every one to three years Okay, for women aged 25 up to 39 years, okay, then annually, every year, for women aged 40 years or older. This is as regard the opinion of different organization about clinical breast examination as a screening. So, which time is best to do clinical breast examination? The best time is after menstruation. After menstruation. Why? Because benign lesions, if present, it becomes smaller and there is tender. So, breast examination will not cause discomfort to the patient and will be more easy. Okay? So, post menstruation. Okay? after the end of the ministration okay we are going to do an inspection and the palpation okay so ask the patient to set or stand for the position sitting or standing during inspection facing you facing the clinician okay okay so what about the different position? The patient should be inspected while placing her arms at sides at this picture. Okay, so patient arm at side. Then ask the patient okay, to place her hand firmly against her head as in this picture. 
Then ask the patient to flex the pectoral muscle or bending forward like this picture. Then ask the patient to raise hand above her head like this picture. Okay, so we have different position to inspect the breast during this position. Okay, either arms beside or hands firmly against her hip or bending forward or hands above her head okay okay so clinician should assess the breast in many position as here as you see here clinician should observe what the overall size, shape, and the symmetry of the breast. What else? Areas of skin thickening or dimpling or inflammation. Nipple size, shape, and the color. Variation with the contralateral breast. Okay. What about palpation of the breast? What is the position of the patient during palpation? Patient supine, as in this picture. Patient supine with pillow below her shoulder. With arm raised above the head. As you see here, arm raised above the head. Below, below shoulder. This is the side to be examined. Okay? So, the side start to be examined should be elevated the arm should be elevated above the head and below under the shoulder okay okay then go and do the same for other side so here is a question which side you start with it is better to start with the side which is apparently normal and the patient is not complaining from this side. So, start with the normal one or apparently normal one side, okay? Then go to the other side in which the patient has a complaint, like pain, like swelling, and so on. So, starting with the normal or apparently healthy side, make the patient more relaxed, making the clinician do the examination easily, then go to the other side in which there is a complaint. Okay. Palpate the breast, the breast the tissue itself using the sequence of progression from superficial to deeper tissue. So, like superficial and deep palpation, okay, using the middle three finger, as in this picture, finger pads of the middle three finger, finger pads of middle three finger is used for palpation of the breast. And usually the hand is slightly cupped position. Okay, so there is a variety of techniques during breast palpation. The most often used, as in this picture, which method, like this one, or vertical strips from up down, up down, vertical strips to the whole breast, or circular starting from around the area and going outward in circle. So, there is different techniques, either use the wedge method or vertical strips or circular as in this picture. Okay, the overall consistency of the breast is documented. Is the breast soft or firm or medular? Okay, we should comment. 
any masses or tender lesions are noted concerning their location. We can use a conventional quadrant by saying the lower inner quadrant, the upper inner quadrant, the, the outer lower quadrant, the outer upper quadrant, and so on. This is called a conventional quadrant or clock phase configuration. As you can say, at three o'clock there is a mass, at six o'clock there is a mass, and so on, or there is signs of inflammation and so on, so on. okay and so on and also you should comment the relation of the mass with the area and from how many distance from the edge of the area okay so this is very important so after that document any abnormality which include the side of the region, its size, shape, texture, mobility, tenderness, and the approximate depth. Okay. okay. Then go to nebal aerial complex. Palpate nebal and the aerial for any abnormalities, and you should assess the presence of any nebal discharge by placing both hands on the breast on either side of the areola and gently put and gently but firmly so gently but firmly pressing down into the breast tissue so any discharge can appear through the nipple any abnormal discharge you may found blood discharge serous discharge milk discharge virulent discharge and so on so assessment of nebel and the areola for any abnormalities masses ulcer inflammation retraction and you should comment on the nebel is it inverted or everted fix it to the underlying structure any mass under the areola if it is mobile or fixed to the areola and so on. Any scaly lesion in erythema, like Paget's disease, okay, so everything should be documented, okay. Then evaluate the presence of nebal discharge by pressing, by pressing on either side of the area gently but firmly pressing down into press tissue so any discharge can appear then go to palpate the axilla as you see in this picture you should first support the arm on the same side by one hand while the other hand do palpation for the axilla for any abnormalities like mass and so on. So support of the arm. So this support of the arm would make the pectoralis muscle relax it. So you can feel easily the exam with the other hand. Okay. So what about if you found lesion? What about the shape of the lesion? As regards the most common benign lesion, like a cyst or fibroadenoma, it has a very regular borders. Okay? So, cyst or fibroadenoma, which is considered benign lesions, has very regular borders. While cancerous nodules tend almost always to be irregular in shape. What about consistency? Mass that feels rock, hard, or otherwise very firm is probably malignant. A wire, the rubbery, or elastic consistency is typical of benign lesion. What else? What is the relation to the skin? Is the mass fixed to the skin? 
If the mass is fixed, the scan is usually malignant. What about changes over time? Rapid changes of a lesion over weeks to months raise suspicion for cancer. What about tenderness? Cancerous nodules tend to be non-tender. Non-tender. Hawaii benign lesions are often particularly tender. The mass that changes in tenderness during the menstrual cycle is most likely benign, and you should reassure your patient about this, because many patients are afraid from painful breast. While these changes change during the menstrual cycle, due to hormonal changes during the cycle, mostly this is a normal or physiological or maybe a benign lesion. Okay. So, go to the axilla and the supraclavicular area, palpate for lymphadenopathy. If there is lymphadenopathy in the axilla or supraclavicular area, it would be not. Lymph node abnormalities may present in a variety of forms. Be slightly enlarged and have somewhat firmer texture than the typical soft rubbery one. And the, you should document the number, the size, size, texture, and the mobility of any palpable lymph node. Lastly, documentation at the end should include symmetry, shape of the breast, texture, masses, navel areola complex, and the skin. Okay, don't miss any item of this. As regards symmetry, symmetrical or asymmetrical breast, okay, on both sides. Symmetrical or asymmetrical? What about the shape of the breast? Is it totic? Totic means the sagging. Pendulous? Any scars or deformities? And you should describe it. What about texture? Is it soft or nodular or fibrocystic or dense? or presence of inflammatory ridge in large breasts. What about masses? Absent or not? Or present? If present, if there is mass, what about the size of the mass, the side, the consistency, distance from areolar edge, and the flock position? What about nibble areolar complex? Is it pink, brown, inverted, inverted nipple? Is there is nipple discharge? And what is the character of this discharge? Is it bloody or virulent or milky? Is there any dry, scaly picture concerning for Paget's disease? Okay. What about the skin of the breast? Is it warm? Is it dry? Is there any erythema? Is there any edema? With orange appearance? Okay. Or open source draining fluid collection. This is the item should be described in detail in documentation. And this is the end of my lecture. I hope it is clear enough. This is my box published on Amazon, textbook of obstetric, textbook of gynecology, contraception handbook, multiple choice question book, and the medical disorder in pregnancy report. My site on Amazon is here as an author, and my website on YouTube is here, and my website on Blogspot is here. You can visit all my sites and you can go to Amazon to get sample of 
free sample of my book and you can get it from Amazon if you wish. Thank you everybody. My best wishes for all of you.